Welcome to another monthly product update video where we're bringing you the latest and greatest feature updates from HubSpot. And this month, we have a bunch. We have some really big ones, including some around sensitive data. It's very exciting. The world is abuzz with these updates, but let's start with one you may have missed. Enterprise admins can now set their portals to be at the end of feature releases. HubSpot rolls out a lot of features all day, every day. If you would like your portal to be at the end of those releases, you can now do that. Let's take a look. So here on the account default settings page, there's a new feature releases tab and this has just one setting under it this checkbox to put this account at the end of gradual feature releases so if you would like new updates coming to HubSpot to hit your portal last so that you have time to prepare for them you can check this box and that will be respected next up as I alluded to HubSpot can now store sensitive data we have the encryption in place for you to be compliant if you're storing sensitive data inside of HubSpot this update came in two batches first there was a release that made it possible to store basic sensitive data and then we had a fast follow where we enabled you to store healthcare data. So if you need to be HIPAA compliant, you can use HubSpot and do that. Let's take a look. So here inside your privacy and consent settings, you can turn on sensitive data. Once this is turned on, it cannot be turned off. When you turn it on, you're going to say what sorts of sensitive data you're storing. After you turn that setting on, one place you're really gonna see it come into play is when you create new properties. So if I create a custom property here, and this is going to store sensitive data, there's a new step asking me whether or not this is for sensitive data. And if it isn't, then the flow for creating this property is exactly the same as it always has been. But if it is, you'll select sensitive data. And if you need to be HIPAA compliant, you're going to say whether or not this contains protected health information. In addition to that, regardless of whether this is a HIPAA controlled value or not, you're going to control whether everyone has access to this particular value or super admins only. From there, you can select the field type and create the property as you normally would. Next up, you can now sync Microsoft Teams webinars to HubSpot marketing events. Now, if you already have our Microsoft Teams integration set up, you will need to disconnect it and reconnect it, but once you do, you'll see some new options. So inside your Microsoft Teams integration settings, you will now see a webinar settings tab with two sub-tabs, global settings where you can control permissions and things, and my settings where you can control whether your individual webinars get synced into HubSpot. Next up, your HubSpot dashboards now have a great new array of filters that you can use to filter the reports on each dashboard. Take a look at this. So here I am on a dashboard, and here you can see these quick filters at the top where I can quickly filter by team or date range. I can also add one for owner very easily right here. But if I go into this advanced filters menu, I see a couple of very exciting options. First, there are additional options for my quick filters. If I wanna add another filter, I can do that here. Or if I wanna apply some advanced filters to the whole dashboard here, I can look through a full list of all the many, many properties I can use to filter this dashboard and filter them from this sidebar. The final update we have for you has to do with SMS. If you're using our SMS add-on, we've implemented quiet hours. In some regions, quiet hours are a rule you have to follow or else you get fined. You're not allowed to send more than a certain number of messages during an entire day, and you're not allowed to text people at all during certain hours of the night. We have put guardrails in place to protect you from running afoul of those regulations. Those are our updates for this month. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more updates like this one, and we'll see you next month when we'll have another batch of updates for you.